Hello everyone, Sherlock fan number one here with another mini rant video. I know a lot of these lately, huh? But today I want to focus on a movie that has both an important message and is another one of my favorites, and yet another movie I feel like no one's ever heard of. Cyberbully, a 2011 movie about Taylor Hilleridge, a 17 year old who receives a laptop for her birthday and soon becomes a victim of cyberbullying when a rumor surfaces about her and another guy she met online. For the first part of this rant, we're going to focus on Taylor's friends, Cheyenne and Samantha, two of probably the worst friends, to be honest. You see, for one, Cheyenne is the one who actually encourages Taylor to talk to this random guy online, and then later acts like Taylor should have been more careful about who she talks to. Now granted, yes, Taylor should have some idea of what to share and not share with strangers, but still, her friends are kind of the worst, if I'm being honest. And then there's Sam, who, well, if you've seen the movie, you know why she's not a very good friend. Not to mention the fact that later Sam walks out on Taylor after she tells Sam she'd rather talk to Scott than skip school with her. And Sam basically says have a nice life and bails on Taylor. But this, believe it or not, is not my biggest gripe with this movie. No, there's so much more. Later we see Taylor and her friends get told off by Lindsay, the insert bitchy bully name here character. And upset by the comments, Taylor and the others storm off. But Cheyenne seems more bothered than the others. And get this, it's because, and I quote, she had never been called a name at school ever like what you're telling me in your whole 12 years of school that not one person in that whole time has ever been mean or talked down to you before Another thing that bothers me throughout the film is not only does this site claim to be a school run website but also the fact that Taylor can and doesn't seem to have control over who can interact on her page's feed which makes no sense even with most social media sites like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, etc. There is usually a feature in which you can regulate who can and does see or post and secondly who can talk to you. Not to mention as I said before this is a school ran website. They would be regulating the heck out of this thing making sure stuff like bullying and things don't happen. So yeah, I'm going to have to call BS on that. My next and so far final rant covers a scene right before shit hits the fan. And that's when Scott tells Taylor he can no longer take her to the Spring Fling dance with him. Because as he says, his mom told him he has to go with another girl that his mom knows. And let me tell you, Scott is in high school, meaning he is almost a grown ass man and yet he can't choose who he can and can't go to the dance with? Boy, get out of here. All in all though, aside from everything, I still believe the message is a good one and definitely one young audiences need to hear. But with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and please be kind to one another and stay safe out there. This is Sherlock Fan Number 1 signing off. High school never ends. Oh, 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 oh.